and I'm back. I'm uh, sorry, I'm waiting for an important call, and that was just some scam caller. Um, and I looked at how long the episode had been. It's been nearly half an hour of me like deliberating, like how to try and equip out these people. Um, <laughs> but this is the kind of thing that, that starts to happen. Um, you know, when um, you're trying to work out the best things to do, and it, and it, yeah, it gets a little bit uh, confusing. So Scrud, you know, he's got enough stuff. He's, his Raider's jacket is going to help. I don't really want to fight those orcs, to be honest. I'm a little bit scared of those orcs. Maybe, maybe the slugs. Um, because I've got, well, I've got two ranged things, and I can summon a skeleton of doom. That will be immune to the poison. Uh, so we'll move right up there. Belinar up there, Ulvar down there, and I think I'm done with this. Uh, oh, we can enchant a coffer even, and, and Miracle of Nature. Well, we'll enchant a coffer just right where we are, tell them some lies, and... Scrud guys, maybe I should just give him some giant slugs. Oh, I don't have the. This will allow me to get the giant slugs. No. What do I need for the giant slugs? Damn it! A swamp trapper's guild, which I don't think I can build. Um, in this game yet Pathfinders Guild yeah so I can't well I'm not going to be able to build just the Swamp Trappers Guild so I'm not going to be able to make use of these giant slugs unfortunately these giant slug eggs so, so sometimes people come along and buy them off you so I'll, I'll keep them Or I could sell them for 50, which would give me 278. Um, which will allow me to completely restore everything. Uh, look, I think, I think they're worth, they're potentially worth a bit more. So I'm not going to do that. So, Scrud can go there, Villain are there, Ulman are there, alright, finally, we're actually going to do something. <laughs> it's end turn. Alright, we've got a Rebellion, they're going to pay for this, and as I expected, um, my party got demolished. So we've got a Brute. Outrageous. Okay. Um Melanar can explore. Scrud can have a look at these slugs. And Olva Oh he can't move then. I wanna get there as quickly as possible. I guess I'll just go in there with these dudes. Um, we should be able to deal with it. Um, we'll attack the demons and he can explore. And we can... I wonder if it's... You know... Even point... Like there's any point 
casting Miracle of Nature. Um, there. I'll just I'll cast Miracle of Nature here, even. And we'll build. We've got stables everywhere that there's horses. We'll build. And this place is about to rebel as well. But they're, they're, they're much stronger. They should re withstand the rebellion. Um, so many people, so many people pissed off at me. What did I ever do? Um, look, I reckon getting a storehouse here is not um, unreasonable. Or I could get an orcish outpost. Or I could just not do anything. And have some money. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just end turn. Humans in orc lands. Um, what? Wait, I offer you an alliance. Words not help human, human die today. Fight the orcs. Interesting. So they... <laughs> Don't allow me to like re ally with them, <laughs> which is fair. I guess very, very fair. Let's do something like, uh, something like that. Boards. Now, Earth Totem. Summon the Earth Token of Time next to the caster. Summoning range of Totem's attributes depends on the caster's ability. Uh, I think. Well, let's. How much? That takes. That's probably going to take everything. What's going to take two? I think I've got four. Yeah, so I could cast either two earth totems or um, four of those. Let's cast an earth totem here. Let's see if I can work out how these earth totems actually work because I got no idea. Okay, now can this guy march forwards? It does not look like it. So, I want to deal as much damage as I can to this. Right. Looks like I can easily. So, why is this taking damage? I don't understand how these things work. Um, unit is possessed by the spirit. Each turn loses three hit points, but spell power and spell duration are at each turn increased by one, and summoning power by three. So I can cast stone spheres, alright. So I can wait one more turn, and then stone spheres will be even more powerful. I understand. Alright, so let's cast Stone Spears. <laughs> Didn't do much damage. <laughs> um. Of 
of course I could have cast another stone spheres. Yes. There we go. Alright, we'll take uh well I guess defense. And we'll continue exploring and we will attack these um evildoers. Would still be a good um, addition for this guy, but he clearly doesn't really need it for those. Alright, so what do I want to take? Um, we'll go Weapon Master. Oh, we'll take Stunning Blow. And we've got a null horde guard. Large hordes of voracious predators, any amount of food will be too low for, the, low for them. They will therefore take what they lack themselves, virtually decimating the settlement. Naturally, the people are not amused. Extremely dangerous, can only be placed in plains, forests, and hills. This guard cannot be disbanded. Province income minus 20%. Population growth minus 3. Population mood minus 2. Does not know it lower the mower, the mood in null provinces. Cool. I've never seen a null horde before. Um, all right. I will invest a reasonable amount and send it to our borders, and they're going to pay for this. And they did. The problem is now that I have a s slightly um, worse guard. Let's see about making um, peace with Oom. So that I don't need to worry about replacing that guard straight away. So death servant, say. I wonder. I wonder. Go to death servants. Um, okay. We've got a hateful. Damn it. Gonna get have to get like men of war or something here. Um in order to defend that and that's a big outlay. We'll get a oh look I don't really want to spend more money before I've um healed everything. We can go to the ancient ruins. Is everything I do? Yeah, look, it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Um, I guess I'll keep exploring there. And Skirad. Go back here where he was going to. Or we can just explore. Let's explore. All right, let's. Um, let's 
so I can't build any second level things. I can build the Sages Guild, that will allow me to get the library, but that's also a lot of money. I do want to repair my items. If I get 300, that'd be like 800, which is probably getting close to repairing um, all of my items. But, uh, what was I going to fight up here? I was going to look at the slugs. Yeah, look, let's just um, explore. We'll fight this and we'll explore in turn. Um, wait for new orders. I found an idol, Black Knight and Bone Spearman. I'm going to retreat from that just because I don't have the silver weapons. Black Knight and Spine Bit, Bone Spearman, I'm going to attack. Soul Armor, indeed. So I'm going to cast Stone Crust. Oh, but that immobilizes me. Does that mean that I can't fight back, or just, uh, just that I can't move? Guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, I can't actually cast it on myself. Probably because my resistance is too high, so that was a complete waste of a spell. Alright, we will get um, magic armor. Almost counteracting with armor. Ooh, armor failure. That's probably from the dissolve armor as well. Um, that's right though. All right. Call of Darkness uh, raises a powerful undead from the grave to join the hero's army. There must be enough space in the hero's army. Alright, cool. Refusal. Okay, so this time he doesn't bloody well. Um, want to, so that means I need to replace this. So I'll replace it with Men of War. Yeah. Chana Koffer. And we'll move both these people back here and hopefully I should be able to heal them all. Um, and as for um, Villana, he can go here and start exploring. And we will build He can. Alright, so I'm going to sell the cuirass and get the breastplate. And I will. Part isn't always going to be better than the two-handed sword. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Just because of the, the first strike. I mean, yeah, yeah, just because of the first strike. And most of the time, you just let people sacrifice themselves into you. And what 
does Scrud have? He has the Bone Breaker and the Round Shield. He could potentially do better with a two handed sword. Although my arm is not the greatest. Um, oh, it's, it's really difficult to know what to do. You know, like rather than repairing this, I could buy the plate gloves. Ooh, but it's so expensive. But then what's the repair amount? Okay, 75. Uh, I will repair all. And then Scrud can go off and attack these death servants because unless yeah, no, I mean all bar can go off them. But I want to repair these, but how much is it gonna cost to repair them? 107. I really want them repaired. Sell the bone breaker. I could repair the silver arrows. Oh, look, I will. I'll get the two hand sword here. Um, and I'll sell the. the round shield right so villain I can explore Ulva can go there um scrud because I, I kind of want to fight the death servants with Scrud because of his looting. He'll get way better stuff out of the death servants. Uh, so, Ulvar's better with, like, you know, huge armies of people that potentially even maybe some trolls or something. Maybe the Dark Druids, but Scrud's probably better with the Dark Druids. Alright, so we'll get Scrud down there, we'll get Velinar exploring there, we'll get Olvar going over there, and we've got no more money left. And we will... And we've got everything all done. Alright, we'll end turn. Exploring. Why so little, you brainless creatures? A renegade magician escapes from your castle, taking 68 gems with him. Um, let's send adventurers to the tower. I'm starting to worry I'm running lower gems. The adventurers come back none the wiser. Take their fear away from them. Order my soldiers to kill them. Alright, so I've got a quilted jacket and some stuff. Beggarly rogues. Alright, so I've got no use for the quilted jacket, so I can sell that straight away. And I've also, at this, well, I'm not. Yeah, so we'll go to the Death Servants, we'll go to the Dark Druids. We'll get the range, maybe. 
I guess I don't need to. I can I can just switch. So if I need more range, I can just go boom. Composite bay. Too easy. Explore. All right. So we can build. Um. Dragonflies. What um archery store? I don't think there's anything about archery store. There's definitely that amulet here, which I want for over 300. But I also want to be able to get some more people. And oh, let's cast Call of Darkness. Make sure that all of my all of my people are evil. Yeah. Let's um. Call of darkness. Now, am I undead gonna heal at all when I don't have any necromancy? Three hundred and sixty and one hundred and thirty-three. This must be a bloody powerful undead. Let's see what my. Alright, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Or is it just a I don't, I don't have the black lotus, otherwise it would be forty five. Alright anyway, call of darkness. Ritual enchantment creates an undead spell caster. It's a lich. Ooh. Rank three death touched. So, feels no pain, tireless, intrepid, magic shot, intimidating shot, energy control, so we ignore, um, ignore some resistance. Uh, ice immunity, poison immunity, explosive weapon, this unit uses special ammo that does 50% splash damage. Lord of the Dead, unit has power over death itself, all undead raised by the unit. Uh, his level or higher, and I am level one. <laughs> I can also raise skeleton, undead regeneration, and stinking cloud. Poisons all living creatures within one tiled. All poison units lose three hit points immediately and three hit points of one stamina point each turn. Attacks and speed are reduced by one. Last two turns. Freaking hell, that's a good unit. And I'm now losing <laughs> fudge, losing crystals. That's all right. Um, I should hopefully be able to cut even. I need to explore swamps, but I don't have swamps. <laughs> <laughs> um, what that spewing? All right, let's just um end turn. Examine it, lizard man and beta. I will retreat simply because he has to kill lizard man. Sorcerer, Basilisk, Giant Spider. Let us attack. Range of five. Alright, let's um let's start battle. Oof.
My lich going up is going to um, cost me, but um, a basilisk egg is exactly what I needed um, to complete the quest that is at that uh, jewelry store. A druid's belt and a master plate maker. Excellent, and we'll attack. Selling food at exorbitant prices. Excellent. Um, we've got a huge swarm of locusts have turned up in the land. I will. Force. I'll execute the deputy. <laughs> and then I'll. Um, getting to deal with themselves. Oh damn it! It cost me money. A famine has broke out in the in the province. Well, can I sell food at exorbitant prices? What a pity. Um, I will hang all those who initiated the petition. Let that be a lesson to the others. Yeah, it starts to get really difficult when everybody starts hating you. Um, Alright, so we've got Skirad, who's got the Basilisk Egg in tow. So, I want him to go down here and complete this quest. Yeah, if I... Pretty sure, yeah, 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 it's there, and he can buy buy the other stuff that I want at the same time. Um, I guess Velinar can. Oh, I guess he can just keep on exploring there for now. And Ulva. I haven't actually looked in this drill jewelry store or oh, no way I did I did um, feeling pretty strong strong enough to take on some trolls probably not I need to get a better better um, second level spell actually um, do I have I really need a better second level spell seeing as stone crust doesn't really work on me. Um, this is this is a problem with getting resistance so high. Is that then spells stop working? Atrophy, cloud of restoration. Which is the undead, hunter's vine, summon hellhound, magic crystal. I mean, magic is not so bad, um, but it's probably not worth it. Cat's reflexes is probably what I want. So we'll come back and we'll get cat's reflexes. Or, oh, 
but I can just, if, once I build that, I can just get a library, so there's probably no point in going backwards. Um, there's some demons here, Imp, Spawn, Fiend, Hellhound, let's go kill them. He can go down there. Um, yeah, I'm really worried about my crystal income, so I won't cast anything and he can keep on exploring. Alright, um, oh, I need to build a geologist guild so I can start making some crystal pits, and for that I need the builder's guild, and for that I need the stonemason's guild, don't I? So we'll build a stonemason skill. Yep. All right. This will that that will fix my gem um, crystal um, income problem. And turn. Continue exploring. All right. Let's go to the demons. You can keep on exploring. I'll build the Builders Guild and we'll upgrade this to a stable. Upgrade this to a stable. Alright, they're just about to rebel. So I might actually stay here and Explore. And all right, let's can turn an ancient crypt, a skeleton, bone spearman, zombie. Let's rec. Great for now. I'm thinking I'll be able to beat them um, if I come back with all shocks, so that's what I'll do. Ancient Ruin, Icarus and Luminaries. Let's attack. Now he's going to do eight. Just won't kill him. Well, oh, that's right, they do splash damage. I should have shot like one of these ones. Elementals. Oh. <laughs> it would really help if I read things properly. Um. All right. Fair enough. I'm just 
guy's probably got a gem income, um, a gem upkeep. I think I'm just going to delete him because he clearly doesn't do what I thought he should. Yeah. Right, we'll go um, attack, defense. Alright, that's pretty shit. Alright, let's attack these dudes. Ooh, there's a demon here as well. I was not aware of that. But hopefully we should be right. We'll go magic weapon. braces. You learn the caravan he sent has been plundered. Stingy hucksters. And they're gonna pay for this. Um, and I'll destroy them and Skirud will lead the attack. And I kinda wanna get this dude killed. As bad as that may sound. I want to hang him out to dry. Continue on down this way, where we could build. Hmm. So my dudes are getting very, very strong. It's just a matter of when I'm going to be able to defeat these um, men of war. I don't actually know what the men of war. Ah, um, let's have a look, let's have a look, um, province guards, men of war, two swordsmen, three pikemen, four crossbowmen, two horsemen, one ironclad, one sniper, and one cavalryman. They don't really sound that strong, to be honest. I would not be surprised if I would be able to defeat them. Going something like this. do when I've got some damage. I want to give myself the biggest possible chance, so I'll explore. I'll keep 
on exploring and I'll head down there. I want just over a thousand, maybe a bit more to buy the things that I want. Uh, Alright, let's end turn. Alright, we've got shamans and sorcerers. We will retreat. Wait for new orders. And some alchemy att are attacking. Hey, are they itching to die? Um, Olvar can defend himself against the alchemy. for because I'm just about to buy that resistance thing that's gonna make me even better and I'm gonna be going up against um, those um, men of war it's um demolished tavern See if I can, um, and let's go see if I can fight them. It might result in my death. Um, um, actually, this is a point that I'm going to end this episode. Um, I guess you could call it. A longer episode if you count sort of the half an hour episode that I like, umdenard over everything and then ended because I had a phone call. Uh, but I'm the one like the clavicus. This is my evil place of Eador Genesis New Horizons it's December 2022 community uh, mod. And this is something like. Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you what this is. This is Eard, This is Shard 17 episode nine that you have been watching thank you very much I'm sure that you join me next time I'm going to start crushing them I believe until then catch you later